Welcome back to Rose Education. This is Ed. Today I'm going to be giving an update on IDnomics as per recommendations and requests from Twitter. Now what I'm going to do here is quickly technical analysis, then I'm going to jump through to due diligence and things that are new. The only reason I'm going through technical analysis is because it gives us an insight for the psychology of traders and where the price action is moving. So make sure to drop a like to this video to help the channel grow, subscribe, and leave vacations on. Let's jump right into it. So on the one week perspective, what we get to see here is on the ADX, it shows in this trend might be coming in a little bit to a dangerous reversal or a pullback. William percent R is saying, hey, this is actually oversold at this level. And the MACD looks stable. Momentum looks like it's retracting. Moving averages do look bullish on this rate. Now, on a one day perspective, what we get to see here is, hey, it's in the trading action zone where reversals are likely. And it stays there above 168. So below 168, it escapes the trading action zones. Where reversals are very much likely now we're looking into the adx here 1593 so 1593 here is where you probably expect reversals to happen now it's coming in from all the way from 52 to 50 so around this area here is where we would have expected a reversal and it looks like it did actually happen now our bets are on another reversal that pushes it up further north so we're looking into the moving averages it looks bullish MACD here is very, very dangerous. Signal line and the, M and the histogram and the MACD all look bearish. So the signal line here in blue is merging into the, into the red line, signal line. So the MACD line is merging into the signal line. And it might switch. So once it switches, it becomes bearish. And it's very much on uh, the verge of doing that. Momentum looks bearish here. Looks like it's actually seeing a pullback from all the way to, to a 22. But it's still positive momentum nonetheless. Now let's take a quick look into two hour perspective. On a two hour perspective, things look like it took a turn to the worse around the 1st of December. And it looks like it hasn't recovered. It's basically trading sideways ever since then. Now the moving average band, we're expecting to trade between 190 on the top, 173 in the middle, and 156 in the bottom. Stochastic fast and stochastic slow are both showing in that, hey, um, it looks like it started receiving a pullback around the 27th and it doesn't look like it's stabilized yet. What we want to see is something very similar to touching a bottom and start curving back a little bit up. Right now, they're both heading in the wrong direction. Now, on the, on the Fibonacci retracements, what we get to see here is a significant Fibonacci retracement support at the $1.99 and $1.34. Significant resistances include 252 305 380 and 475 now jumping in towards the news part. Now I really like IDenomics, but let's take a quick look into the news and then we're going to try to make an educated decision. So IDenomics. This is really not just, a lot of misconception here is this is making EV cars. Think of it as a collective fintech slash EV portfolio where they have different companies underneath them. So they're very much following a lot of the Chinese kind of hierarchy of companies where they have a lot of subsidiaries and buying a lot of different companies underneath them. Nonetheless, that is not very popular in North America, in the Western world, but it looks to be very successful for them. So right now, we're going to look quickly into the latest SEC filings, and then we're going to go to events and news and checking if there's anything new. Latest SEC filings is a bunch of the $150 million dollars that are being sold as a part of more of a direct offering. Now, well, not really a direct offering. It's basically, it's an SEDA, Standby Equity Purchase Agreement, and it was dated all the way back in September. So for YA to P uh, PN, have, they have been buying shares for a little now. I think this is the second time they've actually bought shares in uh, since the jump. So 245, around $63 million worth, and around $27 million worth at 213. What, is, what does this really signify is that they're actually uh, really trying to more of going into a bullish direction and they're trying to average down. So that is a bullish sentiment nonetheless. IDX on December 3rd have received the minimum compliance requirements for being listed on NASDAQ for 10 consecutive days. So there you go. It has compliance. Institutional buyers seem to be quiet on this range. Nothing seems to be reported here. Similarly, insider doesn't look much into here. I mean, there was sales to purchaser around 320,000 back in August and exercising of shares uh, that was earlier last month. Now, when we're looking into the latest news, what we get to see is 
Well, yes, iDynamics invites you to join us at Bazinga Global Small Cap Conference. That's in December 8th to 9th. And what they do here on their website, if you go onto I believe, press, you get to see the latest news. And if you go to blog, this here I really like. A lot of people seem to be rushing over it. Ideonomics November 2020 newsletter. And what we get to see here is you can get a breakdown of their next conferences. Zynga is going to happen at 9 on December 9th. 2020 this year at 1 30 p.m i'm guessing eastern standard time but you can click here to get more details january 19 to 21 is the clean tech Con uh, forum in san francisco the netam growth conference needham growth conference is happening on january 11th to 15th so you get to see their later their next three conferences there's some things about what they're reading so electric trucks and buses they're kind of giving you a nudge here and the Tesla to use LG chem batteries for China made models. So what they're reading is that they look like they have their eyes on big electrical vehicles and buses and Tesla. And we already kind of know that already, but hey, if it needs reiteration, it might as well. Next thing here is their T-Litric, iDynamics T-Litric announces the hire of Volkswagen veteran Richard Tua as his chief finance officer. Now we're looking over 20 years of financial leadership and experience, former director of group finance controlling Volkswagen Group in Malaysia, with a rich background in automotive manufacturing and construction industries through Asian, Mr. Toa will be an instrument in fueling Tree Electric's growth. And this is Tree Electric's website. I've covered this a while ago, but yes, Ideonomics does have a great substantial position in. Now comes in the next question. Ed, what do you think is gonna happen? Now we've been back to around the 80 cents and we've been saying, well, we'd really love to see it above $3 and yay, we saw it above $3 and then it came back. I definitely think that this stock is highly manipulated, okay? I've tried to trade it and you get to see this massive giant walls and very thin bid uh, versus ask and it, it kind of gets interesting on level two. It's one of these stocks that are highly manipulated. It really reminds me of Givo when it first jumped up, G-E-V-O. And that kind of manipulation is a little bit scary because it can rip in either direction. From what we can get to see here in this direction, looks like money makers won this down. I don't know, short selling, whatever. It looks like they're trying to push it down. And that is a bit of a scary thing because below 199, I don't think I'm going to hold it there. I think I would lower my position, probably buy it around, let's say, to $1.55. You know, if you want to lower your average, might as well, right? Around, I've seen a lot of price targets around $3 and then $5. It got really close to there, but if you really believe in this company, you know, you might want to sell now and then next week on dip, maybe when people are a little bit scared, you know, buy the dip and then lower your average down, or you can start selling a little and then changing your average. But for the longer term, I think this one might be solid, but for the short term trading, you can make money by, you know, securing profits. So if this one sees, you know, on Monday, five dollars. Maybe you want to secure a little bit of profits and then lower your average down and then ride it back up again. In any uptrend, there is high highs and high lows. Nothing goes on parabolic and keeps on going. There's pullbacks. So might sometimes, if you want to trade, you want to actually uh, secure some of the profits. If you're investing, then forget about it. Just leave it for I don't know, ten years, however long you're investing, and just watch it every now and then. You shouldn't be worried about getting the perfect exit if you're investing and you want to invest long term. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like. You have a wonderful day.